Good morning traders. I hope you're doing great. My name is George and this is just a quick update following the update from the public update from Monday and we need to see what's going on on the Bitcoin chart and what are the next possible scenarios that we do have right now developing. Now everyone knows what happened. I mean very very strong push to the upside but first of all I would like to zoom out just a bit and just spend a couple of moments to understand the power and the beauty of this level uh, what is marked on the chart the high time frame SNR flip level somewhere around 25 222 so you can see this level this is not a new level was printed here and this level gave this top another major top right so resistance resistance then it was claimed and now back test and it gave a bottom. So definitely understanding this kind of SNR flip level, if you understand this kind of levels, you know, your job as a trader should be so much easier. This is one <laughs> beauty, 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 technical analysis level. This is, if you, if you are, if you want to succeed in this business, definitely you do need to understand the SNR flip levels. Other than that, we need to get back to the main trading idea and that would be um, the range that we do have here. Obviously, we do have the value are low and one would say this is a major resistance together with the 30k psychological area. Now, the price claimed is above this level, value area low of this range and we need to see what's going on next but definitely something to be taken into consideration other than that and if we hide this for just a second we need to talk about this the the local range that we do have right now on the bitcoin chart and if you remember what i was saying uh on um on monday on the public update I was saying basically we do not have a good trade in this area because the better trade was here at the lows of the range and this is kind of the what I was expecting on the chart right so the price pushing as long as the value area low of this range was holding still holding as support right I was expecting a push to the upside and basically this is what I was looking for and basically this is what happened and then the price moved to an important level right so this is an important level and definitely when the price moves to this area the only swing trade that i'll be looking for is a short or no trade and as you can see i was explaining this during the, um, the stream on monday right now the price moved just a bit higher i was looking to trade this liquidity area and the price moved just a bit higher obviously we do have a technical level in this area and if we use uh, exo chart and this template we had a daily naked point of control there right so we do have a technical level and other than that we do need to see what is the next important move on the chart so definitely in this area first of all it is another take profit area so if you are in a long from here or from i don't know in this area or whatever um this is a good take profit area other than that and depending on the reaction you know this is a, a place where i will look for a short or no trade we do have a reaction so far but we do not have confirmation right confirmation comes usually from a changing market structure and the price losing some important levels for me the most important level right now to the downside is the value area low of this range if the price manage to get acceptance back into the value area of this range then it opens a possibility for more downside and we do have the point of control do have value or low and once again the bottom of this range right so that's how a bearish scenario would look like obviously in between we do have levels those levels can be used to measure the strength or the weakness of a move can be used for scalping for day training but other than that and high time frame this is kind of the the level that i'm looking for a possible reaction meaning if this level if the price will move somewhere in this area and we see a backtest 
and this level is holding, then I would expect a new hard high on the chart. We do have this level, we do have the, the top of the range for a possible swing failure pattern, right? So that would be 31,069. There could be a swing failure pattern there, or maybe not. Maybe the price will push higher. And this is kind of the bullish case because at that point in time, the price will break this range to the upside and definitely opens the possibility for more, uh, for more upside. But instead of this, if we see something like this, right? So the price pushing here, the price pushing just a bit to the upside, not too much, still creating a lower high and then something like this, then at that point in time, the possibilities for this to be the top are increasing. We're trading and we're talking about possibilities because we all know you never know what's going to happen on the chart. And if someone tells you, uh, I know what's going to happen, well, you get my point. We trade the opportunity, we trade the odds, right? So. This is what we do have right now on the chart. Very, very important levels to the downside. The value area high of this range, right? As long as this holds as support, more upside is possible. If the price gets acceptance back into the value area, then more downside is possible. Point of control, value area low, and the bottom of this range. Obviously, now we do have an important level here. This is an interesting level. This is an SNR flip level, right? If this level holds and we just push from here, you know, then more upside is possible. And, you know, this is not the top. I mean, for the moment, we had one, two, three strong trending day. And I will always favor the trend unless we see a sign of weakness. Like I said, sign of weakness would be changing market structure and losing some level levels. So this is what we do have right now on the, on the chart. This was kind of my, my trading plan. Uh, we got a reaction. This is the top. Do we get confirmation? No, definitely. We do not have that confirmation, but at least for a scalp, for a day trade, that should do fine. Now we need to see what's going on next. And definitely, if you are interested in, uh, in what we do here at Safe House, you can uh, find us on our website, succeedsrepeated.com or in our Discord. As you can see, we do have a free section in Discord where myself or Victor, we are posting every day uh, trading ideas, you know, the most important high time frame levels. And also something to mention, yesterday we started the live trading series. This is a recurring event. So basically each uh, week we'll have a live trading session. And if you like to, to see what we do here, to learn more about trading, definitely you can find us, on, like I said, on our website, you can find us on YouTube, Safe House, or in Discord where, like I said, we post every day some uh, high time frame um, ideas. With that being said, that will be all for this update. Let's pay attention to what's going on on the charts. And until the next one, thank you for everything. Cheers and bye bye.